Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League Prediction. Yes, the Premier League's back all the way through to March. Now, by the time the next international break comes up, the relegation side of the table might be decided the way it's going so far. Anyway, but anyway, this video is sponsored by Tear Bear Printing. If you want to, you know, do a bit cool bit of merch, you want to, you know, you're not one of their custom shirts, Put the word sport and the discount code for 10% off your purchase price. Go and make sure you go do that. And let's get down to this video. I'm so glad it's back. And obviously there will be a few more videos about what's going on around football over the next few weeks. But anyway guys, let's get straight down to this. Guys, you know what to do. Give us a little big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game we're going to kick off with is Newcastle versus Chelsea. Now, Newcastle ain't doing too badly over, I think we've only played eight weeks worth of football, so, you know, let's bear that in mind. No team has really got the full, you know, time to get ready sort of thing. It's going to be an interesting one. I'm going to go for a one all score line for that one, I think. The next one is Aston Villa versus... Brighton over Albion. Now, for all you guys that know, I am a Brighton fan. I am very disappointed the way this season has gone. You may have seen my video where I've done a quick season with you on Brighton. And you can see my disappointment in that video when I was doing it. And there is a bit of a laugh and a joke in there as well. Phil, on the other hand, you know, really are pushing up in the Premier League table so far. I think they're in the top eight. Top 8, top 9, somewhere around there. Aston Villa really have got, you know, the odds on favourites. I think, and I think Villa will do it. Even though it hurts for me to say it, I'll go for a Villa win, and I'll go for a 3-1 Villa win. My next one is Tottenham versus Manchester City. Two club that has had a disappointment this season. Tottenham and Man City... Ain't really supposed to be where they're supposed to be. I know Tottenham are thinking the top three at this present day time. More Manchester City side where they're not meant to be. I think they're in the bottom half. Uh, I think they're around about 15th mark. Not quite sure about that. But anyway, this game is going to be, you know, a really interesting game down in the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. And Man City are one of the teams that won the five subs per turn. And I will do a video on that if you'd like to see that. And I have got a complaint about that as well. But going forward to this game, I'm going to go for a Tottenham win. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Tottenham win. My next one is Manchester United versus West Bromwich Albion. I'm a guy so sure job sounds under threat. Some village is obviously doing his best job that he can at West Bromwich Albion. There's a, a, there's a lot of things on the threat at Man United as, a, as we're speaking. Paul Pogba being on the move, maybe one of them. This could really be, you know, a really interesting game. I'm going to go for the underdogs to win this one, which is the West Brom. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 West Brom win. My next one is Fulham versus Everton. Fulham now are really, you know, I think they picked up their first three points against West Brom. But yeah, it seems to be struggling to get going. Everton, on the other hand, I think they lost their last week before the international break. But they're still doing a good job, none of the wiser. I do think that possibly it could be one of the best games in this weekend's worth of, uh, worth of fixtures. It could be a sort of game that Villa players go out there, you know, thinking they're going to win and Villa could really overturn them. I ain't going to go for that. I'm going to go for an Everton win now. And I'm going to go for a 3-0 Everton win. My next one is Sheffield United versus West Ham. Sheffield United are yet again another disappointing team. That really, I think they've even touched the relegation zone this season. West Ham, on the other hand, are really, you know, getting down there and doing what they... I think they're also in the top, I think they're in the top 12. I'm not sure whether they're in the top half or not. But this game's going to be interesting for a load of reasons. One, is Sheffield United going to finally, you know, hit that start that we're looking for? Or West Ham going to continue it? I'm going to go for a draw, I think. 
And I'm going to go for a one-all scoreline for that one. If not, I'll go for a West Ham win as well. The next one is Leeds versus Arsenal. Leeds, you know, doing ever so well coming from the Premier League, uh, from the Championship to the Premier League. Arsenal are still seem to be in that big dip. Being at Ellen Road this weekend, it could either go one way or another. I'm going to go for a Leeds win now, and I'm going to go for a 3 0 Leeds win. My next one is Liverpool versus Leicester. Liverpool is yet again on another team that wants to try a sub rule change. It don't look like it's going to happen within the Premier League, but you, you never know, it could do. Being with Liverpool, Leicester, this could really be one way or another. And I'm going to go for a Leicester win, and I'm going to go for a 2 1 Leicester win, mind it, with all Liverpool's injuries as well. The next one is Burnley versus Crystal Palace. Burnley, uh, you know, sitting down in the relegation zone. Crystal Palace are sitting, I can't quite remember where they're sitting, but I know they are, you know, roughly safe at the table at this point in time. No one's safe yet until I hit that 40 point mark. Going forward to this game, I'm going to go for a 3 1 Crystal Palace win. My last one for this weekend is Wolverhampton versus Southampton. Wolverhampton, you know, doing okay. So, same with Southampton. I'm going to go for a Wolverhampton win. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Wolverhampton win. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Cheer up now.